So, I'm working on my 2012 Gas Gas EC300. And I have an APT Smart Carb in it. And the bowl gasket slightly seeps. So it just gets dirty. It's annoying more than anything. It doesn't affect it any. So. And I also have a new throttle cable from Motion Pro that is two inches longer, which is awesome. That's how they sell it, it's two inches longer. I'll show you that in a little bit, but right now for the Smart Carb, here's the new uh, bowl gasket they sent me. So, go ahead and install that. It's just, like I said, it's just annoying that it seeps. It just gets dirty. I clean it off. This is the back side that I can't really get to because it's, you know, tucked away by the, the rear shock there. So, anyways, let's open, let's open up the bowl and see what it looks like. So back with the APT Smart Carb, you got four of these to remove the bowl. It's a four millimeter Allen. That's what it looks like inside. Looks like two independent floats. Gasket. The only part of this, because it's so big, is that one corner has hit on the chain. Let's take it a little off. No issue with with it, but yeah. And it stopped rubbing, but it is a tight fit with these billet carbs on some bikes. So here's the here's the new gasket. Actually, oh, it's the same thickness. This one was just seeping for whatever reason. So I'll clean it. Clean it up, put it back together anyways, that was just to show, you know, what inside is. I'll show you that, changing the cable here. So, stay tuned. So, I got the, uh, this is the Motion Pro throttle cable. That's two inches longer than stock, and that's how it comes, which is awesome. They recognize that the stock one was too short. Um, so you don't have to pay for like a custom cable. So the T3 slide light by Motion Pro. And for your gas cast, this is the part number. And this is what the smart carb, because mainly this review is on the smart carb. Well, it looks like so. There's three Allen, three millimeter. Allen bolts that hold the top on. Take it off. Of course, there's a spring and pull the cable out. The cable goes through a little washer and down into there. But that's what it looks like for the most part inside your smart carb. And then obviously the spring goes in there. And here, let's take a look down in. That's what it looks like down into a billet smart card. See the air adjustment screw right there. Our idle adjustment. Just to give some close up of what this looks like for people. Let's see. So when you twist the throttle for all the way open with the bike off, 
this is pulled to the top of this unit, at which point, see that groove? That is pulls against this, hold on, as you push in, see, it's kind of like a screwdriver, push in, find that groove, and uh, do, click as they call it, clicks, you know, richer or leaner. So, that's how you make an adjustment on a smart garb for the, whether it's rich or lean. Which once you pretty much have set up, you're good to go. But if you did feel like you need to run a little richer, well, it's easy to do. You know, you're not really messing around with opening up the uh, a carb and changing the jets and writing down your, all you know, where the clips are at and all that good stuff. And it's pretty straightforward. So anyways, this is the cable I will be using, which is cool because there's a nice big adjustment knob. On the way. Let's take it out. On the throttle side. And the reason, you know, it's also in a lot thicker casing. I hope that's not an issue. That's a lot thicker. Here's the stock one. The stock one, the issue is, oh, there's a new spot that's tore. <laughs> um, well, up here where I have it taped, that's where it first got bashed in. Just by turning the handlebars, it runs on the other side. And it broke the casings. I put some tape around it. Um, that happened when the bike was pretty new a couple years ago now. So, um, see, it did it again. So, hopefully, let's see, roughly, yeah, that thicker, uh, back up here, that thicker comes through there. Ah, comes further up. You know, they have a thicker part way down here. I don't know if that's really necessary because that doesn't have any. Well, I was gonna say no abrasions, but looking closer, yes, it does. I wonder where that's rubbing. Well, anyways, it's it's good. I guess I changed this out. I guess I will be keeping a figure two years, and I'll keep an eye out on the Motion Pro one and see see how that one wears. Um, Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know there was all those other abrasions. It's been a while since I've had the bike apart to this point to look at it. So, anyways, there we go. Um, I'll be putting back the smart carb and putting it back in the unit. Um, should have that on order tonight. The guy just called me, so I'll be getting the B cylinder piston kit. You can watch the video on that, which will probably be a multi partner. Our part video. This I'll probably just put up as the APD smart card, which I love by the way. And you know, I paid a lot of money for this. So, you know, I'm not, you know, sweet talking smart card just because you know they gave me this or anything. No, they did not give me this. I he gave me a little bit of discount, but I still paid a lot of money for this um, billet smart card. And other people I've recommended it to that have bought one think it's awesome. So, you know, I don't know what the whole debate is. People that haven't tried it, you know, it's one of those things. I guess if you don't have 800 bucks, 700 bucks, I'm not sure what they're going for right now. Then, yeah, that's a lot of money. But when you're not dicking around with the carb and you can ride and you can take the bike from Colorado Springs down to Moab and you can ride and you can I can go up to a 13,000 foot and ride and not worry about my jetting and having bike issues and starting issues and all that you know I'm a rider I don't want to dick around with the bike you know all the time on jetting let's rule that out and plus if I get another two stroke Good chances I could move this carb over unless direct injection becomes the norm. Which who knows? Maybe it will be, maybe it won't. 
So there we have it. Check out my other videos. I will put the link down below for the Motion Pro cable. And I will also put the link for APT Smart Card and maybe whatever else I think might be of interest for anyone watching this video. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and check out those other videos.